what I realized in life that you got to make sure you have a strong belief system have a strong belief system about who you are have a strong belief system on things or life itself you got to know who you are you know I just I am just a firm believer about self-awareness about knowing who you are knowing your inner self knowing your inner self is very important when you don't know your inner self you will have people try to justify and identify how they see you but you on the other hand you need to have a strong identity because when you have a strong identity nobody can tell you different if you're strong and you know you're strong and somebody try to identify you as weak you won't believe in that because you see yourself in the higher um on a higher level how versus how they see you you know but I realized like once you have a certain kind of vision once you see yourself in the future you can't tell everybody that why you can't tell everybody that is because people won't understand people don't see you in the future how you see yourself it's like what stop people in life is not uh You'll find out that you only stop for yourself. People's opinions, people's thoughts, they get inside your ear, they get inside your subconscious. And now it program you and navigate you to a certain direction in life. Now you live in the other people's opinions. Now you live in the other people's realities. Now you live in the other people's thought patterns. You start to believe in what other people say and it controls you. That's what I'm saying. Knowing your inner self, man. It's so and that's really like real shit though. Yeah, that, that's so true. But it kind of, well, how I, you know, know all these things because I'm speaking from experience. I'm not just jaw jacking. I'm not just talking just to talk because that makes me ignorant. You know, if I don't have experience in something, I'm talking about something. Even though I'm giving my opinion, you know, it's still like kind of ignorant in a sense. But um, I learned how to just really know myself though. You know, it's with the experience, it's with trial and error. I learn and I um, identify who I am as a person, as far as my character, as far as like my strengths and my weakness, you know? And nobody can tell me different, I swear. And I'm not trying to be cocky, I'm not trying to be ignorant, I am. I just know who the hell I am, though. And you gotta know yourself. Believe in like, and as far as your dream and your goal too, I want you to believe in that. I want like everybody on this live as far as if y'all have a goal or a dream I want y'all to believe in it even when it seems impossible you can look at other um, historical figures man look at their blueprint you can look at a lot of other people too who influenced you who inspired you you can look at them as far as they um, executing upon something always believe in the impossible that means that you gotta fight harder you gotta try harder uh, they say God gives the hardest battle to the strongest soldiers. It's going to be a battle as far as you're dreaming your goal, but you gotta you gotta fight towards it. It's going to be rocks. It's going to be stones. It's going to be mountains, mountains that you have to go through because like the bigger the dream, the harder the grind. You just gotta when life knocks you down, you just gotta constantly get back up. That's what it's all about. Life is all about what you make it you live in what you make each and every day so if life keep constantly punch you down on the floor keep punch you down on the ground keep stopping you you're not doing nothing about it you live in what you you um react towards in life that's real you gotta get up you gotta shake yourself off you gotta constantly keep moving life is about motion life is about overcoming the odds life is all about suppressing the odds life is all about um, beating adversity and not letting adversity beat you adversity defines somebody's character in the long run adversity defines somebody what kind of mind they got what kind of spirit they got what kind of soul they got because adversity is going to come with life 
you know. But the only thing you have to do is that you have to be ready for it. Be ready for it now. Because you honestly, we don't know when adversity is going to come. But adversity will come. You know, some people are facing adversity still. They've been going through hell for like 15 years. They've been going through pain for like 20 years. They've been going through hell for about 30 years. All their life. They've been going through pain all of their life. But with that pain is glory. With that pain is sunshine. With that pain is a, it's a, a, a light underneath. But you got to be a firm believer that nothing will stop you. And that God, he's working things in your favor. God is building you up even more. You think that you're constantly being broken down in the inside, but God is making you stronger internally. He's giving you a stronger spirit. He's giving you a stronger soul. He's giving you a stronger mind. He's giving you a stronger spirit. And you just got to be ready to fight. You just got to know that God is working things in my favor. You got to know that. And I'm speaking things into, I'm speaking from experience. As far as, you know, God, he worked things in your favor. I could talk about my story. My story is, is that I still could have been having uh, tools in my ear. I couldn't hear until I was two or three years of age because I constantly had blood pouring out of my ears. You know, but it was the goodness of God that was working things in my favor. I was in the dark and I was like, real young. You know, I came out the womb not hearing. It wasn't until two or three. So about two or three years, I was suffering from not hearing. You know, I, so I was standing out from other kids. Other kids could hear. Other kids, they playing with their friends. Other kids, you know, they on the playground, you know, just being a kid. You know, I just was standing out instead of blending in. But God was working things to my favor. He was showing me his anointing. He was showing me his power. And I know that God could do anything and everything but fail. So I'm speaking things. I'm speaking from experience, you know? So I know the goodness of God and what he'll do. He'll make He'll make sure he'll make your enemy your foot suit. You feel me? Not just real shit. Excuse my French. <laughs> Not just real shit. He really will make your enemy your foot suit. The same one who forsake you, the same one who neglected you, he'll really make your enemy your foot suit. He'll be the same ones that you lift up when they was down. And... <laughs> nah, bro. This, it's a representation of something, man. It's a reputation of my life, bro. That's why I'm not cutting it, bro. Because look, the reason why I'm growing out my hair and everything because this represents a life transition. You know, this represents me building up my inner character. This represents me going through life and I'm actually, you know, getting stronger from it. I'm not getting weaker from it. I'm not getting weaker from adversity. I'm not getting weaker from the experience. So I'm actually, you know, getting more stronger in life. This represents me becoming a different me. This is like a rebirth of me. My hair is a representation of that. That's why I'm still I'm like I'm keeping this shit. <laughs> like, well, you know. But um, back to what I was saying. Just believe. That's the only thing you need to do. Through all the odds. Through all when everybody, you know, saying that you can't accomplish your dream. Or you can't accomplish this particularly, or whatever. You need. I need you to believe, bro. Nobody can tell me different about who I am. Nobody can tell me about my dream. Nobody can tell me about my goal. I don't care if you like it or not. I'm not looking for validation. I'm not looking for validation because I validate myself. I don't care who validate me. I don't care how you see me. Uh, get get a shave. <laughs> nah, but I'm not even doing that. You see. I got mad hair all over everywhere, bro. I'm growing this whole thing out, bro. It's a reputation of rebirth of Kavante Shaw, my real my real name. You see all that hair right there, bro? I'm not getting no haircut. <laughs> I get no haircut, bro. It's over. But I, but I will get a haircut like uh like two days or like a day before my birthday, January third. You know, so like January second of 2019. That's why I'm gonna get my uh my haircut. But um back to what I was saying. Always make sure you speak things into existence. If your dreams seem impossible, because you know, I feel you, bro. I'm gonna, that's what it is, bro. That's how you gotta do it, though. It represents something. When something, rep like, if you have, like, um, your hair you grow out or whatever, and it represents something, you vow it holds some kind of value to it, so you just won't cut it off, though. Some, certain people just grow out their hair for no type of reason. And then they just cut it off because they didn't have no purpose, like of why they was growing it from the from the get go. <laughs> you feel me though? So 
once it represents something like say for example if your aunt or your uncle died or anybody who's close to you or just like your friend you won't cut your hair because why because it has a meaning to it it has some some sort of value towards it though so you won't cut it off because you got no you know no reason apparently you know but what I realized is that, and like people was like, oh, cut off your hair, cut off your hair. My mom was like, cut off your hair. Stuff, I was like, cut off your hair. Nah, I'm not doing that. Because they think that I'm just doing it just to do it because it has no purpose. It has a purpose to it. It has a purpose to it, though. And I don't care if they don't like it. I don't care if they, because I'm not looking for them to validate. I'm not looking for them to like. I'm not looking for them. I don't care about none of that shit, bro. I'm not, I didn't come here to be accepted in life. I came here to affect my people. I came here to affect the world. You feel me? I, that's what I came here for. I mean, I come here for. Because I remember I was a kid that was standing out instead of blending in. And I was trying to be accepted by people for so many years. I got to a point when I tap into my inner self and when I became closer with my inner self, nobody can tell me who I am. I'm not looking for validation from other people. I don't want to stand out because once you stand out, you're unique and now you draw a crowd. You draw a different type of energy. You draw a crowd towards you because now they see that you're standing out, that you're unique from everybody. You're not talking the same as everybody else. You're not behaving the same as everybody else. Your mindset is not like everybody else. Your mentality is not like everybody else. Your spirit is not like everybody else. That's what I realized, though. And I'm only 20 years of age. I'll be 21 January 3rd, though, man. So, I realized, I be realizing so much, though. I came up with this concept, or I came up with this concept and I say, coming to a realization with my inner self, that's like one of my quotes that I be using. I be using that most of the times because I always come into a realization with the inner self, though. You only can realize something that's different and it's not the same outcome. It's not, you know. So I just realized that, you know, the same ones that love you. And I just want everybody to really know and understand this. The same ones that love you, say they care for you, they won't support your dream like you support it. The same ones that you love so much, they won't care for your dream how you care for your dream or your goal. That's what it's all about. And another thing too, if you don't value yourself, people won't value you. <laughs> if you don't value, if if you look at yourself and you say yourself, I'm only worth five nickels or five pennies, people will give you five nickels, people will give you five pennies. It's all about self-identity, knowing your inner self, knowing how much you are worth. That's what it's all about. And I realized that I'm much higher. People will see me. I'm way higher than, than any. I'm like probably taller than a skyscraper as far as my worth. Nobody can tell me different from that. Nobody can tell me different because I know who I am. You got to know who you are. Because we are all on this earth because we to serve a purpose. We all on this earth to serve a purpose in life though. And just look at this though. God gave us the, the ability, he gave us the energy to actually do and be and have anything that we want. If you want to be a lawyer, you could do that. If you want to be a doctor, you could do that. If you want to be a surgeon, you could do that. If you want to be anything that you want to be, you could do that. Nothing will stop you if you're unstoppable. But the only thing you need to do is that you need to reprogram your language if you got the, uh, the incorrect one. You just need to reprogram your subconscious if you don't have the accurate one. You just got to reprogram your whole body. Reprogram your, just reprogram everything, though, man. Because if you don't have, like, the right mind, the right, you know, language, the right behavior, you are doomed, bro. Because it's only two directions in life, left and right. But sometimes it be like the right path once you go left. Sometimes it be, you feel me? But it's all about going right, in my honest opinion. My honest opinion is going right. Why? Because... I just believe once you go right, those doors will start opening. Doors will start opening. You start going to those doors. There'll be the doors of opportunity. And that comes with grinding. Once you grind, oh God will give you opportunities. You got to grind your way there. Nobody's going to give you nothing. Period, point blank. That's what I realized. Now, I had to get up off my feet. Frederick Douglass got this great quote. Frederick Douglass was saying, For 20 years, I prayed to the Lord, asking Frederick for freedom. But the good Lord then gave Frederick no freedom till I got off my knees and started praying with my feet. 
It wasn't until he started moving with actions, he started seeing things change in his life. It wasn't, just, it wasn't until he started moving with action, things were started changing in his life. And that is the message for everybody today. That's another one too. Y'all gotta get up off your feet. Get up off your knees. Stop praying to God when y'all have the resources right there in front of you, but you're just not utilizing them. Not just real. Because a lot of times, us, we pray to God when things are already there in front of us. We're just not using it. He's not going to give you nothing that you already got. Harry Thomas said, I didn't pray to God uh, for things I already got. Only time, only time when I prayed to God is when I didn't have those resources. I didn't have those things. I was praying to God for it. Don't pray to God when you got something already in your life. You're not utilizing them. And that's just real. But uh, my phone is dying, y'all. And um, I'll be back at it with another live video, man. I'm going to start being on live more because I don't be on here more, though. And I just come here just to express myself, just express my experience, just express my emotions, just express my feelings because that is a form of art. As a matter of fact, that is one of my best art that I try to make and I try to perfect as much as possible. Peace.